You know, we keep it real and stylish around here, and I found some incredible gems from Target. Yep, you heard that right, so keep on watching. Hi, fashionistas, new here, I'm Chi Chi, welcome. Not new here, hey go hey. Welcome the new kids and let them know how we treat family around here. Here, we're all about celebrating style, self-expression, and all things fabulous fashion. So if you love hauls, styling videos, and the occasional vlog, then sis, you've found your tribe, stay a while. Today's video is gonna be an exciting one. It's going to be a try-on. So we've got chic dresses, cozy staples, holiday finds, okay? So if you've got a soiree or two coming up, I got some gems for you as well. And all the must-haves you need for the season. The best part, it's all wallet friendly. Okay, I think everything I shared with you is going to be under $50, and that's why we love a Target haul. So whether you're sipping on your gingerbread latte or taking a stroll in the crisp, fall air, I've got your back. Before we get into the video, let's quickly talk about my OOTD or outfit of the day. I have on this like puff sleeve, sweetheart neckline, super floaty mini dress from Wally World. If you haven't seen my last video, I shared more details on the fit, sizing, all that good stuff. It's just all of my gems from Wally World for fall. I love this dress because like it skims the body, it's super flirty, very lightweight. If you're somewhere where it's like warm for fall, I definitely recommend this dress. This will also be great for Thanksgiving because Lord, you can eat as much as you want in this thing. For jewelry, I just have on my Michael Kors watch, a friendship bracelet, and a little cuff that I got from ASOS a while back. But all the outfit details and all the links and all the good stuff will be in the description box down below. I don't know who's racing in the middle of the day. Um, so excuse me if you heard that. Now let's jump into this fabulous Target fashion haul. So we're gonna start off with the dresses and then we'll move on to tops and finally bottoms. So for dresses, y'all, as soon as I saw this dress, it also came in a sleeve version that sadly sold out my size. I knew I had to have her. If you want this piece, this is selling fast so make sure you grab it don't don't say i didn't tell you okay but what i loved about it was this corset detail it's actually quite similar to this one i like to draw the eye to my decolletage area and if you have a similar body type to mine definitely i feel like that is a style hack right there so i love that it had like the detailing around the bust and then it's like a fit and flare dress i was obsessed with the pleats and it has pockets the straps are adjustable it's definitely giving 1950s 1960s housewife and I'm definitely here for it so the way I decided to kind of bring it into the fall is to layer it with a sheer top underneath to keep things a little warm because it is we are going into the fall and winter and that's what I loved about this dress is the vers versatility because you can totally wear white after Labor Day don't listen to the lot of that is a rule that needs to be put in the trash, okay? But what I like about it is that I can also pull it out in the spring and in the summer, honey. So we love a versatile piece. I am wearing it here in a, what size? Let me consult the document. I'm wearing it here in a size 18. I think you could size down on this if you have a similar body type to mine where you're a little bit smaller on top because I did have some give with this. It came with its belt, but honestly, the belt on this is not great. So my recommendation is to probably swap it out. I have a white belt. I I don't know why I didn't swap it out or a brown belt would work with this as well. Another option would be to throw a cardigan over this if you didn't want to do like a layer underneath. <coughs> Whew, y'all, the struggles. <coughs> okay, breathe, 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 breathe. Where's my water? Hold on, intermission. So I picked up the dress in a size 18, like I said, and I definitely think if you're in between sizes, you can size down. It is non-stretch, but for me, it ran a little big around the torso area, and because it's pretty much pleated, there's tons of fabric on the bottom, so you should be fine. As I mentioned, it also has 
pockets. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this dress. Is she a yes or is she a no? Let me know in the comments down below. Actually, this dress came in brown. I actually wanted it in brown, but it sold out. So I was like, you know what? I'm still going to get this dress because I love the style of this dress. It has like a scoop neck. It has like faux stitching around the bust. I don't know if you can see that detail. Now, it is the holiday season, so of course I had to check out the holiday finds at Target and I saw these sequin mini dresses. They come with these larger sequin discs and I was like, okay, let's add her to cart <laughs> because I actually picked up a brown leather jacket in my last haul. Definitely check out that haul if you haven't seen it. And I thought it would pair really well with the sequin dress. You have a little bit of juxtaposition. And so I was like, okay, let me see. I got this in a size 1X and I'm definitely saying you can size down. I should have gotten this in extra, extra large. I'm 5'7 and this came to about knee length, which is not what I was expecting. And I think it's because it runs so big. The inside of the dress has a lining that's stretchy. So I would say if you were in between sizes, you could definitely size down one if not two sizes because of how this runs okay now the only con to this dress is that the little shimmy thingies when you walk <laughs> people are gonna know okay they make like a slight little sound if they're brushed up against or you know something around that nature so I just wanted to point that out to you just in case if that would like bother you it has straps to it as well but it is a sleeveless style i think this would be great for any of the holiday functions that are coming up definitely you could rock this for new year's eve it comes in black um i chose the brown because i feel like black sequin is so expected and i have more than enough of that in my closet so let me know in the comments if you would have gone for the black or if you have gone for the brown and what your thoughts are on how i styled the dress also, how else would you style this actually? I'd like to know that too. So lastly, I also picked up this slip dress. I was obsessed with little lace detail around the bust. It's giving hot chocolate. It also comes in black. And I feel like a couple of other colors as well. Sadly, the black was sold out. So I opted for the brown. And I'm, you know what? I'm gonna be giving hot chocolate. I'm gonna be giving hot chocolate in this dress, okay? Love the fact that it's a nice, good midi. And then it also has a tie in the back so you can cinch your waist even more. It's definitely giving 90s vibes but I like it. If you can get your hands on this in black, I would highly recommend. I'm gonna keep my eyes open to see if somebody returns it or they restock because I definitely think this is a closet staple. Like you could wear this to date night. You could dress this up, dress this down. Like there's so many ways I can envision styling this with a bomber jacket, with a leather jacket, with a trench coat, with sneakers, with boots, with pumps. You get the gist. <laughs> it's a versatile piece, okay? And I'm gonna link it for you guys down below. Now as far as how the fabric is made out of, it's not like the usual shiny slip dress fabric. It is more of a woven fabric and it's also lined. So that's why I really feel like this is one of those hidden gems. It also has like this little lattice lace detail around this, I don't want to call it sleeve because it's not a sleeve, it's like a strap. And for my girls who have to wear bras, this is the one for you because usually slip dresses always come like super thin spaghetti strap you don't have that issue with this one and that's another reason why I think she's a keep but let me know in the comments below so speaking of the holidays I want to know I'm curious when it comes to dressing for the holidays would you call yourself a maximalist that like you love the sequins you love the bling you love all the colors the red the green or would you call yourself more of a minimalist you like to stick to like you know more muted colors and style maybe black maybe satin let me know in the comments below now moving on to tops we're gonna start with this red blazer I remember when I shared this look earlier in the year it was like a white base so a white bustier white parachute pants and then the red blazer and all the girls wanted the tea on my blazer but it was sold out well I found you guys a red blazer and what I like about this one is that it's made out of satin so it's definitely dressy ready for the holidays throw this on over a trash bag okay and you will be giving holiday vibes I love the satin I love the fact that it is you know the shiny fabric I typically get blazers in a size 1x at Target but I already have a red blazer and I'm trying to talk myself out of keeping this one but like this one is satin the other one I have is not 
you know? So like, let me know. Should I keep it? Should I keep both or should I return this one? Let me know your thoughts. I just wanted to share with you guys just in case you're looking for that one piece to add to your wardrobe for the holiday. Red is huge this season. Not only will you be on trend, you'll be adding a piece to your wardrobe that is also festive for the holidays. And you can wear this to date night. You can wear this to work. You know, if you're looking for that piece that can kind of bridge the gap in your wardrobe, this is her, but let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Y'all, I am so rusty. I am not used to talking this much. Your girl is just finally getting her voice back. So, bear with me. <laughs> now, I saw this twin set and I was like, mm. the color just like instantly spoke to me. It's this vibrant. I don't even know what, what kind of blue this is. It's so vibrant. And it came with like a matching little crop top. And I have a similar set in orange. And every time I wear it, the girls want to know where it's from. So I thought I'd share this one that I came across. I actually picked this up in store. I feel like if I had seen it online, I would not have paid it any mind. But something about seeing this color just really called to me. And again, this is one of those pieces that technically came out in the fall, but I feel like you can wear this like year round, especially if you work in an office, the color itself well for spring. And for me, I like to kind of juxtapose something like this because this can lend a little bit more like buttoned up and office appropriate, but as you can see, I styled it with some cargo pants. I'd also style it with some leather just to add a little edge to it, you know? So then you have options if you want to dress it down, if you want to dress it up. Let me know in the comments like how you would style this, but I thought it was worth an honorable mention, okay? I think this is something that you perfectly you could wear to Thanksgiving. You could wear with like a chunky necklace or something like that and maybe like a metallic skirt and you can rock this to holiday or Christmas function. I just wanted to add that it's lightweight but it is so soft and it's very stretchy very forgiving so if you're in between sizes I think you could also size down on this one as well and this one is an honorable mention because I don't know if you guys can still pick it up but I grabbed this sweatshirt from the Rowing Blazers X Target collaboration if it's still online it's probably on clearance so mm, I would run that back real quick okay the clearance on the Target limited edition collections are it's always good. So I will put a link to it for you guys in the comments if it's still available. But what I loved about this was all the different like colors and prints. I love to wear color in the fall and winter as well. So I like to add pieces to my closet that I can use to kind of like pick a color and create a whole look around. Now I styled this with the matching skirt that sold out like literally the day it came, <laughs> the collection came out. So I can't even, I'm not even gonna bother trying to link that for y'all. But you could also style this with like some cargo pants and some pumps or some leather pants if you prefer that look like a little skater skirt as well I just love the idea of pairing it with something either grungy and tough like leather or flirty and girly like a pleated skirt but let me know your thoughts on this collaboration did you grab anything from the collaboration and what do you think about this sweatshirt is this a keep or is this a return also isn't, isn't there something about this that, gi that gives like it's it's a different world or like 90s sitcom. I don't know, something about it is definitely giving me nostalgia vibes. Next thing I picked up is going to be this leather bralette. Okay, if you saw it by Walmart haul, you know I'm going through like a leather moment and I saw this one, I thought it was super cute. I like a piece like this to layer with. So you can layer like a printed bodysuit underneath this. You could also layer this over a button down shirt. Like I love a piece like this to layer with. You can also wear it on, on its own. Own, but to me, I feel like it's perfect for all the fall layering. Now, I got this in the extra, extra large because I find that tops like this run a little big for my body frame, so I size down. It doesn't have adjustable straps, but it does have like elastication in the back, so if you have like a larger bust, you will have a little bit of room. And it does have an invisible zipper as well, so you can like zip yourself in and out of this one. But let me know what your thoughts are about the whole bustier situation. Situation. I mean, bustier, corsets, whatever we're calling them these days, these have been trending for like three or four seasons now. And I love the fact that they did this in leather and this like gorgeous maroon color, perfect for fall. But let me know if this is a keep or a return because I'm kind of still on the fence about it. Let's get into some bottoms. But before I do that, um, I just wanted to let you guys know this is actually the second time I filmed this video. And so at some point in this video, we're probably going to be adding clips for 
from the old video so if you're like wondering why I look different it's because the first time we filmed this some of the files got corrupted so we're trying to create one cohesive video for you so if you see a different background a different clip it is because <laughs> we decided to combine both clips so you guys know I'm all about maximizing your wardrobe and just sharing pieces that can help you build a wardrobe that makes it easy for you to get dressed and feel fabulous. And so I'm always gonna be talking about staples and must-haves and core pieces. And this pleated skirt is what I would call an unbasic basic. It is a tan colored pleated skirt, super flattering on most, if not all body types. I like that she added a little bit of a twist to it by making it almost like a paper bag. I feel like the design of this this was great in mind, but the execution with the belt, not so great. So I would definitely swap out the belt that comes with the skirt and do your own belt, but it has that cool little detail that, you know, makes it just not a boring, basic, you know, khaki skirt. And the reason why this is a closet staple is because you can dress this up and dress this down. I don't know how many times I've said that in this video. You can, you know, wear it to work, you know, with like a twin set or a button down shirt and you can wear it on the weekends with a pullover and some sneakers to run your errands. You know, if you even wanted to jazz this up for date night with like a little corset, you could definitely do that as well. So I think a piece like this is very, very versatile. I paired it with a bodysuit. That's how I chose to style it however you can have a lot of fun with this some really nice like some croc boots some knee-high or over-the-knee croc boots with a nice trench coat and a, like a turtleneck maybe like a, a leopard print turtleneck or even like a striped turtleneck you have a look as well I feel like it's a classic piece so that you will be able to pull it out over and over again but that little added detail around the waist just takes it up a notch. But let me know your thoughts. I think I, what size am I wearing this in? Wearing this in an 18, I would say that this collaboration, in my opinion, kind of ran big. So if you're in between sizes, I feel like you can size down to your smaller size. Now, <laughs> I, if you're following me on Instagram, you know that these next pants caused a lot of controversy, okay? The girls were coming for me on Instagram, okay? They told me that, I'm not even gonna repeat what they called these pants, all right? I saw these teal colored parachute pants and I fell in love specifically because I saw this inspiration on Pinterest and I thought, oh my God, I can recreate that. I, I have the pants, I have a similar blazer. It's gonna be a vibe, it's gonna look cute. I thought I was showing up on the internet to show the girls a look. The girl said, nah, no, 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 no. We're not a fan. I, I still wanted to share with you guys anyway because they do come in a lavender color and they come in one other color. And I know cargo pants are having a moment right now. So if you're looking to try the trend but you don't wanna invest a lot of money, Target has a lot of styles and so I thought this one was kind of like in the middle. There weren't like 800 billion pockets. <laughs> Cause I remember somebody DM me like, can I have some cargo pants or cargo jeans that don't have 5,000 billion pockets? I get it. It has a drawstring around the waist, so it's adjustable. It also has a drawstring around the ankle, so it's adjustable as well. So you can make it a wide leg pant. You can make it more of like a parachute style pant. I love the versatility of that. Now, because I'm 5'7 and it's not quite long, enough for me I prefer to wear it as a parachute style pants but let me know your thoughts on this one despite the fact that I was dragged on Instagram <laughs> is this a keep or is this a return so the next item is going to be this jumpsuit catsuit situation so I have a love and hate relationship with pieces like this because I love how easy they are throw this on throw an oversized sweatshirt even like the sweatshirt that I shared okay your Uggs or like your you know Boston clogs and you can pop out the door you can also do like a shacket with it etc etc so that's what I love about it it's a one and done outfit what I don't like about it <laughs> is if you need to go to the bathroom so that's the only thing I'm not the biggest fan of okay it's also great for like workouts and things like that walking all those kind of things this one has adjustable straps so I like that about it it's also ribbed which tends to be a lot more flattering on the bottom and I got this in a size 2x this is from the Wild Fable line, which is their juniors line. And typically juniors run a little bit smaller. 
but this is super stretchy so I think there shouldn't be any issues I haven't tried this on yet but let me know in the comments how you feel about these like onesie jumpsuit situation because like I get it like it's like a lazy girl's outfit where you don't really want to think about it just throw this one but I can also see the cons as soon as I saw this skirt I was like this is if a skirt could be Christmas if a skirt could be the holidays it would be this okay so I grabbed this sequin like thigh slit. I don't, I don't know if this is a mini or a maxi. I think it depends on your height for this one. But I could envision all of the ways that this could be styled. You could style this with a graphic tee and some sneakers if you're like a tomboy or with some combat boots. So when it comes to the holidays, I feel like you can't go wrong with sequin staples. You can always pull them out year after year. That's why whenever I find pieces like this, especially in larger sizes, I always hold on to them because I know just like clockwork. Okay, next Christmas and next New Year's, a piece like this is going to be a must have. And you can wear these to like work, Christmas parties, you know, friends Christmas parties, New Year's, etc, etc. The sequin on this to me is very subtle and understated. The length makes it friendly for like work and things like, or even church. If you guys dress up, if you guys show up for Christmas. So one of my easiest, one of my go-to uniforms whenever I wear something sequin or satin is to pair it with a different texture and why not a chunky knit? So I just have it on with a Fair Isle sweater but if that's not your vibe if you want something a little bit more like closer to the body then I have this cute little top as well as off shoulder that would also be perfect with this skirt and I feel like I want to add a belt to this but I'm not sure either way I think this is such a great piece I'm wearing this in the extra extra large y'all because I think the 1x was sold out but the 2x and the other sizes are still left over I would say that this runs kind of big because I am definitely not an extra extra large at Tarzan for bottoms but this has quite a bit of stretch to it and it's not overly in the wrong places so I act, I was actually shook it so I grabbed the extra extra large with my fingers crossed knowing the 2x was gonna be too big and it actually fits but anyway let me know your thoughts on this skirt is this a keep is this a return I feel like I want to keep her but I would love to know your opinions in the comments down below which piece spoke to your heart drop a comment down below y'all know i love hearing from you and if you haven't already subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more fabulous fashion hauls and styling tips thank you so much for joining me today and remember you are fabulous just the way you are and your style should reflect that and until next time stay chic fabulous and blessed and i'll catch you in the next one Stay chic, stay chic, fabulous, stay chic, fabulous. <sighs> now let's jump into this fabulous fashion haul. I don't even know if this is necessary, but okay. Overlay un <coughs> is to layer it with a... <coughs>